dear students welcome to my zoology class this is akmal hussain lecturer biology square high school and college now i'm going to take a zoology class of standard 7 chapter 4 respiratory system today's topic is respiration there is a picture of human respiratory system what will we learn from this class we will be able to know about parts of human respiratory system and respiratory process respiration in animals here it has been mentioned in an animals respiration but actually described only human respiration so we will describe the human's respiratory system you know human respiratory system formed by mainly seven parts number one nostril and nasal cavity nasopharynx larynx trachea bronchus lungs and diaphragm there is a picture of human respiratory system especially lower respiratory system follow the picture this part is larynx then tube like structure it is trachea the branch of trachea who is entered into both lungs name bronchus again bronchus divided into many branches these branches of bronchus is called bronchioles and the end of the bronchioles it carries alveolus alveolus the cover of lung is called pleura the cavity between two membrane of pleura is called pleural cavity and the muscular sheet like organ with just beneath of lungs is called diaphragm here mentioned ribs and heart no need to draw it for your kind information no need to draw the ribs and heart because heart and ribs is not the part of our respiratory system nostril and nasal cavity let's find out now from nostril and nasal cavity a triangular shaped cavity placed above the buccal cavity it turns from nostril to pharynx a thin membrane separates the two from one another its interior part is covered with hair and the posterior part by a membrane when air contains dust and germs the hair and the membrane obstruct them nasopharynx it is a short portion between nasal cavity and larynx the air enter the trachea through nasopharynx number three larynx it is situated at the junction of pharynx and trachea it is the short portion between pharynx and trachea it has sound producing cords called vocal cord this is called vocal cord why because this sound producing cord help to talk us perfectly or clearly that's why it is called a vocal cord 
नंबर सी ऑन द लैडिंग्स होल देयर इज ए लीड इट कवर्स द लैडिंग्स ड्यूरिंग द इनटेक ऑफ फूड सो दैट फूड कांट एंटर द लैडिंग्स इट ओपेंस अगेन ड्यूरिंग इनहेलेशन ट्रैकिया The portion between larynx and bronchus is called trachea. It is a long tube-like structure. It is formed by some cartilaginous ring. What is cartilaginous ring? The ring to which is formed by cartilage. What is cartilage? Cartilage, in normal sense, it is soft bone. It is soft bone. Actually, the definition of cartilage, the Flexible connective tissue of our body is called cartilage. The flexible connective tissue of our body is called cartilage. Through this trachea, air enters into lungs, bronchus. The trachea divides into two branches and enter into two lungs. So this uh, branch is called bronchus. After entering into the lungs, this uh, branches again divided into innumerable branches called bronchioles. The structure of a bronchus is called trachea. Lungs. Lungs is our major or main organ of our respiratory system. Let's find out from lungs. There are two lungs on two sides of the heart inside the chest cavity. It is soft like a sponge. The right lung is a bit larger than the left one. What is the effect of that? Effect of 2B large the right lung, the heart is in our little bit left side. Lungs are covered with two fold membranes called pleura. In between, Pleural pores, some slimy substances are present which prevent friction with chest wall. Small bronchioles enter into air cells or sacs called alveolus. These alveoli are surrounded by capillary vessels. When air enters into the cells, the, they swell up like a balloon. diaphragm the muscular layer that separates abdominal cavity and chest cavity is diaphragm that means diaphragm act as boundary of our chest cavity it looks like an open umbrella when diaphragm shrinks, it goes down and the area of chest cavity increases. On the other hand, when it expands, it goes up and chest cavity shrinks. Now, respiratory process or respiratory method. Respiratory process of human we may divide it into mainly two number one external respiration number two internal respiration external respiration again divided into two inhalation and exhalation internal respiration let's see about external respiration Inhalation. We take in oxygenated air from atmosphere, it is inhalation. During this process, the muscles in 
between diaphragm and chest cavity shrink. Exhalation In this stage, muscles of diaphragm and chest cavity relax and squeeze. As a result, area of lungs became small. The air and carbon dioxide from the alveoli transported through bronchus and trachea are expelled outside through nostril. That means we inhaled oxygen enriched air and exhaled carbon dioxide enriched air. Internal respiration. Your book has described very nicely here. The cellular food is oxidized in presence of oxygen and converted into kinetic energy and heat energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy which helps to perform our physical activities like walking, running, playing, etc. and heat energy which helps to perform our physiological activities like uh, uh, respiration, blood circulation, digestion, etc. Oxygen that enters into the blood of the lung moves with the blood to distant capillary. Oxygen then reaches intercellular juice through the walls of capillary, oxygen enters the cells via this oxygen carrying juice, then it reacts chemically with cellular food and produce energy. As a, consequ as a consequence, heat energy and carbon dioxide are produced. This carbon dioxide is transported to lung again through blood. Flow chart of respiratory system is given below. Actually, here mentioned the flow chart of external respiration, external respiratory system. At first, air entered into nostril. Nostril to nasal passes, nasal passes to nasopharynx, nasopharynx to trachea, trachea to bronchus, bronchus to bronchiole, then bronchiole to alveoli or air sac, which is called in singular form alveolus. This is the inhalation process. On the other hand, again after this oxygen used into our cell and produced energy and carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is harmful for our body that is why this is wastage. This wastage again back to our lungs by blood. Which part of our lung? Alveoli. Then alveoli to entered into bronchiole, bronchiole to bronchus, bronchus to trachea, trachea to nasopharynx, nasopharynx to nasal process, nasal process to nostril and nostril to again environment. That means this is exhalation. Way to nostril to alveoli is inhalation, way to alveoli to nostril is exhalation. Stay at home, stay safe. Thank you.